Oh man, this video has been a long time coming. See, the questions I get asked more than anything else in any video I do is, where did you get dot dot dot? Where did you get the rubber keycaps, that custom cable, that mouse mat, hyperglides, the paracord? I'm gonna do my best to answer all those questions for you today. I'm gonna show you where to get them, how to get them cheaper, how to get them faster, what places overseas are the best to order from, how to get them in your hands the best way possible. Ready? Let's go. This video is brought to you by Bookmark.com. Bookmark's a free website builder where you can create a professional looking website with hosting in just a couple minutes by answering seven simple questions. Bookmark's AI engine Ada literally builds your website right in front of your face in less than two minutes and you can edit virtually every aspect of the page once it's complete. You can also upgrade to connect your existing domain and create an online store with e-commerce integration. It's awesome. Click the link in the description below or check them out at Bookmark.com. Yo, I'm Brian P. You're watching Bad C Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to get your hands on all those cool little extras, one-off little pieces, cables, keycaps, everything you might need for your mouse, so you can really dial in your setup and make it more personal for you. I will put links in the description for everything that we talk about today. I'll tell you what, I'll even put timestamps up here because I'm going to cover a lot of stuff today, and this will help you get to the information you need a lot faster. I will say here before we even get started that outside of money, the number one thing you need to get your hands on any of this stuff is patience. This is not Amazon Prime crime stuff. I have never known patience in my life like I know now after having got into custom keycaps, artisans, group buys, audio file stuff, mass drop, etc. Also, the majority of this information today is going to apply directly to the United States because that's where I live, so that's the experience that I have. Lastly, for transparency, outside of an affiliate deal with mass drop, I don't have any kind of financial relationship with any of the companies featured in today's video. All right, so kicking things off with rubberized keycaps, these are the wave right now. Pretty much seem to be a must own for anybody out there that's got a small form factor keyboard. Anytime you see a rubberized diamond pattern keycap, whether it's shine through, which is another way to say backlit or it's blank, chances are very strong that it came from Taiha. You can get your hands on these from a number of places, mechanicalkeyboards.com, mass drop sometimes, eBay, but the fastest way in my experience is to go shoptaihao.com. Pricing on this site is listed in new Taiwan dollars. An 18 set of rubber keycaps will run you 550 TWD, which equates to just under $18 US. A four pack of blanks will run you 80 NT or about $2.60. Compare that to mechanical keyboards price of $19 for an 18 key set or $5 for a four pack of blanks. If you're buying direct from Taihao, where they're going to get you is on the shipping. Expect to pay more in shipping than you're going to pay for an 18 set even if you're picking their cheapest shipping option, which is FedEx. FedEx will run you about $19. EMS is going to run you about $24. Bucks. The upshot is that they're almost always in stock there, and the shipping is super fast. My orders make it all the way from Taiwan to the Midwest, usually in about five days, sometimes less. So if I order on a Monday, I've got them by the weekend, no problem. Best move here is to order in bulk. That way the shipping won't stink so bad. So what's all the hype with these things? Well, they look cool, and they're backlit. Will they increase your performance in game? Eh. If you're not real confident on your keyboard yet, you can just put them on your WAS keys. That way, if when you're playing, you get lost, you move off your keys, you can find them. Just with that little tactile texture difference, find your way back without having to look down at your keyboard. You can increase this effect by putting the arrow keys included in the set on your WAS keys because they're a different height, so they're even easier to find if you move off those keys. A note here on buying the four pack blanks. Most of the time, people that are buying these are looking to cover the exact same four keys. That's going to be your Z, X, C, and V keys. So you want to make sure you get the right row height for that. R1 is probably what you're looking for. They're far and away the most popular, so they're also the most likely to be sold out. You can easily substitute a different row. Just be aware that they're going to be slightly higher than the rest of your keys. While you're at Taihao, feel free to have a look around too, because they've got some awesome PBT keycap sets. This is also where you'll find the Sunrise or Rainbow set, as well as the Hawaii set. Both awesome. You can also find these rubberized keycaps now at Matrix Keyboards. These look an awful lot like Taihao keycaps to me, but I haven't had them in hand yet, so I couldn't tell you for sure. Downside is they're only available in 13 cap sets, so they're missing the number six key and they're missing the four arrow keys and the sets are more expensive at twenty dollars for a 13 cap set if you want to mix and match your colors get some unique combinations going on they offer that too as long as you're willing to pay an additional premium of five bucks moving on to the next one are two very popular keycap sets from ducky this is ultraviolet and Joker. You may also be looking for a set called Good and Blue, and you may also have seen these. They're called Primary Exposure, and at the time of this video, they have not yet been released. MechanicalKeyboards.com, again, is where you want to head for these. Be prepared for them to be sold out almost all the time. Hopefully, you'll catch them on pre-order. They're really good about telling you the date that they're going to come in. If you get really, really insanely lucky, you might be able to catch them in stock sometimes. Now, you may have found something that looks very similar to these at Banggood.com or another Chinese retailer, Aco X Ducky. They look identical, 
but they have different names. Like Ultraviolet is called Queen. So naturally this feels like a knockoff or a counterfeit. It isn't. My contact at Ducky confirmed they use a company called Akko in China to act as an agent for them. These are 100% authentic Ducky keycaps. I did order one of these sets from Banggood, so I can confirm they are 100% identical. Unfortunately, I ordered those over Chinese New Year, so it took like forever to ship. I haven't bought anything else from Banggood.com, so maybe somebody can chime in in the comments. Let me know what that shipping usually takes from them. I've ordered official Ducky keycaps a couple times here, so don't be freaked out if your packaging looks a little weird. One of them came in a really nice acrylic key card that had like a little place for every key. The other one was literally just a bag of keycaps, just a Ziploc bag full of keycaps with a little piece of paper inside that said Ducky. Both of them were quality, both of them were legit, so don't freak out if you just get like a weird bag full of keycaps in the mail. For some reason or another, there exists this gotcha moment where people buy these custom keycap sets, they get them in hand, and then they figure out that they're not backlit. So be aware of this. As a matter of fact, most, like, Literally the overwhelming majority of custom keycaps, regardless of material, are not backlit. Taiha's actually got a new backlit Miami set coming out with some new technology, so it looks like a standard Miami in the daylight, but it is still backlit. I actually found a cheap backlit Miami style set on AliExpress for like 25 bucks, but it's not great, and it took like almost three weeks to get here. I don't think I'll probably be ordering from them again. All right, a custom keyboard cable. Love these. You can score these from a few different places. I know Zap Cables is out there. They also have like a DIY kit if you're into that kind of thing. But for my custom cables, I use metcables.com. They make this as easy as they can. It's easy enough to pick a connector in your colors. It's kind of tough to visualize how each paracord will be affected by the color of the text leaving. If you're not sure, just send an email. Chances are he can send you an example. And he makes it super easy to match common high and key sets. You can literally just tell them Godspeed, laser, canvas, carbon, whatever, and it'll automatically put that color configuration together in a way that's guaranteed to look sick with that keycap set. The big questions I get are on this connector. It's called an aviator connector, and besides just looking cool, it does offer a couple features. It's important to note here that when you're looking at a cable like this, it's treated as two different cables. So one's gonna plug into your keyboard and terminate in the aviator, and then you're gonna have the other side of the aviator that terminates in the USB for your PC. When you order, if you put the aviator connector on the left side of your coil, this gives you the ability to have several shorter cables that terminate in USB USB-C, micro USB, mini USB. So if you keep the same color scheme but upgrade your keyboard to one that has a different connector, you don't have to purchase an entire new custom cable. If you place this connector on the right side of the coil like mine is, this means you can have a big long run in a neutral color that goes to the back of your PC so you never have to reach back there. Then you can swap out coils and connectors as you want to to change the look of your desktop. The cable is shown in this video. This has got like all the bells and whistles. This is a seven inch large diameter coil. Cost me about 55 bucks all in took just under a week to arrive. You can go a lot simpler here and forego the connector or the coils or whatever and just have a straight run that's color matched if you like a cleaner, simpler look. All right, paracords and hyperglides. I got my paracords from a guy named Cisa. I think he's based out of Germany. He's just got an online order form. I'll link it in the description below. They were costly and they took a really long time to arrive. Right now, if you need paracords, Paraflex is probably where you wanna be. They only run $15 per and they ship fast when they're in stock. This is also the best place to grab hyperglides when they're in stock. The best way to catch them in stock? Twitter. Follow Paraflex cables and turn post notifications on. Then watch and wait. They always announce in advance, but when they give you the date and time, don't sleep. Be there on time. There's plenty of guys out there with bots because hyperglides for final mouse are like a reseller's gold mine right now on eBay. So don't sleep on these. Be prepared to get there on time so you can get your hands on what you want. You can also get hyperglides directly from the source at hyperglide.net. For instance, I've never seen the Zowie S1, S2 feet in stock at Paraflex cables. I had to go directly to hyperglide to get them. They cost $9 a set plus five dollars for shipping they ship out via dhs they come from singapore and they take forever to arrive i ordered my first set from them on march 14th it's now march 27th when i'm filming this video and they've just touched down in the united states they're not even to my place yet how do you know when they restock just go to reddit hang out and mouse reviews and wait for somebody to announce the restock just check daily and yeah there are alternatives to hyperglides out there but these are the ones that everybody wants honestly if you're running a zowie mouse I really don't feel like they offer any kind of increased performance. Lastly, if you're looking for that finishing touch, that really awesome desk mat that's gonna help tie your whole setup together, you gotta go to novelkeys.xyz. Chances are they've got a desk mat out there that will match any high-end custom keycap set or any color scheme you're trying to work out. They're really high quality too. Extra big at 900 by 400 millimeters, extra soft, and they come in this nice cool little carry bag. They roll right out too. They require zero time before they lay flat. They're never wavy at all, though they do smell a little weird for a couple days. Novel Keys also has some 
some really unique switches, and they have group buy info for upcoming custom key sets. All right, I think that's about enough for today. I'm not going to dive into like artisans or high end group buys. Mass drop though. I'll save that information for a different day. We'll talk about where you can score some unique or one off keycaps, but hopefully that information helps you find exactly what you were looking for. And that's it for this time. I'm Brian P. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that sub button, and until next time, stay up.